What to do YouTube, it is ya boy Cosmological and I'm coming at you with a video to show you some underrated silver badges in NBA 2K20 for the defense and rebounding category. And I feel there's a lot of silver badges in this game that are simply overlooked and perform better at exactly silver. And with this gameplay I'm going to take away all my badges real quick just to show you which ones that I like to keep silver and you already saw some but it's okay but box is definitely one of them because box literally I, I need to stop saying literally but box silver is perfect because if you put it above gold and hall of fame I feel like it's just overkill unless your dude has hall of fame worm and you're like completely like unattentive to you know what's going on you literally don't need it anything above that and bronze even if you have a if you're like 73 you probably only need a bronze just because of how big you are and strength and you know all that sort of stuff but box is definitely a good badge to have silver and another one is clamps clamps i usually run hall of fame but silver just gets the job done just right too it helps me lock on to my people and you know Clamps is also good, but it's not one of the ones I want to focus on. But another one is Interceptor, because Interceptor I feel is perfect being silver because Hall of Fame just doesn't work as good as you'd expect. And silver kind of has that really good fine balance to it because gold and you know Hall of Fame, it just doesn't perform at what you would want. You want to save some bad spaces on defense and rebounding because you can definitely put it in other spots. And another one intimidator right here i tested it out on hall of fame and then i dropped it to silver and silver i saw no difference in my defensive contests so silver intimidator in my opinion is just as good and it says it boosts the shot defense when tightly guarding opponents so even then if you're tightly guarding an opponent especially at my size 611 you really don't need a hall of fame hall of fame is is kind of overkill in that category and that's that's just what i think you know and another one Another Hall of Fame bat, not Hall of Fame, Silver Badge is Pogo Stick because Pogo Stick Hall of Fame, I don't jump ridiculously much on defense. And so Silver kind of gives me that, you know, nice little recovery time in between to sort of, you know, be useful. But Hall of Fame, I feel, is also a little bit overkill for Pogo Stick. And Rim Protector is also good Silver, but it's also good Bronze. But I only keep it on Hall of Fame simply because of the takeover boost. Literally, that's all I that's all I do for Rim Protector. And the last silver badge that I'm gonna talk about is Worm because Worm on Silver, Worm on Silver does a really good job swimming out of the box outs. And if the, your matchup has Hall of Fame box, Worm isn't gonna work anyway at Hall of Fame. But Hall of Fame, what Hall of Fame will do, it'll get you those animations that sort of preset you in a certain direction, and it's just it's kind of annoying and leads you to, you know, get caught up rather than you have more fluidity in what you're trying to do and silver gives you the most fluidity while also being effective in my opinion so yeah and now i want to show you some of the badges that i always use hall of fame or the, my usual badge setup always rebound chaser tireless defenders always hall of fame when i run wreck um chase an artist i sometimes put a hall of fame but i've been doing it bronze as of late because bronze gives you this animation to chase somebody down but Hall of Fame will make you super quick on the fast break when you're chasing somebody down, of course. Hall of Fame rim, just because of the takeover boost, you get a ridiculous amount of takeover boost when you have a Hall of Fame. Clamps, I do run Hall of Fame to bump people a lot. And then I'll switch clamps sometimes with, with brick wall, but I usually run uh, clamps Hall of Fame. And then if I ever want to do brick wall Hall of Fame, I'll switch it out with tireless defender, simply because like, well, I'll switch it out with Tireless Defender when I'm playing Park because Park, you don't need Tireless Defender because you have basically unlimited stamina. You don't need to worry about getting that Gatorade symbol or anything. And with these last three badge upgrades, you can put it on Chase on Artist Hall of Fame. I've been trying to test out Lightning Reflex as a bronze as of late. And with those two extra ones, I usually put it on Worm or I can put it on, you know, something else. But if you guys did enjoy this little explanation of badges that you really only need silver, in NBA 2K, please like and subscribe. And yeah, guys, this is my paint beast. I've been working on them. max badges except for the uh, finishing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.